Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today's kind of a normal Tuesday, so I thought I would share with you what my normal kit, my normal gear setup is for making these daily videos. I've been doing this for 300 days, 300 episodes. My gear's kind of changed in that time, so I'm just gonna kind of share what I've got so far and what everything is today. That's a lot of stuff. I never really realized how much stuff I actually carried with me until I laid it out on this table. This is pretty much everything I carry that I use on a daily basis, or at least want to have with me on a daily basis just in case I need it, aside from the camera, microphone, and tripod that I'm shooting on, which is the Fujifilm X-H1, the Rode VideoMic Pro, and the Joby 5K tripod. The Rode VideoMic Pro is a recent upgrade for me, but I still carry around my old Rode Video Micro that I use to plug into the USB and use it as a microphone to do voiceovers here and there, and just to make sure I have a backup microphone in case the battery runs out on this one. First, if I ever want to record voiceovers with that microphone, I need a dongle to a dongle to another cord, so just keep these things with me just in case I need them. I always carry two SD cards. Uh, there's two memory card slots in the camera, so I just keep them there. Oh, I have one 32 gig, which is in the camera now, and a 64 gig. I try to shoot everything for the day on the 32, because if I go over 32, that's a lot of footage to edit. I also carry two micro SD cards with me all day, just in case I'm shooting with the drone or the GoPro. I want to have those little ones just in case. And of course, I couldn't download any of that footage without another dongle. So this is my micro SD card and SD card dongle that I always have with me. Sometimes I have two just in case one fails, but gotta make sure I always have one. I usually carry at least two batteries and this compact charger, but I try to carry three batteries. Backup camera, I always have a GoPro with me. I don't always use it, but I always have it with me. Try to make sure it's charged but I use this a lot for time lapses or any kind of really wide shot that I want to get, stuff like that. Sometimes I'll carry a small tripod for the GoPro, but these days I really like this friction arm or magic arm with this old GoPro Hero uh, 6 case on it. Um, it does a really good job. Tons of mounting options. Love mounting this to the stroller, love mounting this to windows, all kinds of stuff. It's heavy, I don't really like to travel with it, but uh, most days I have it with me. These days, I'm always carrying around a variable neutral density filter. I didn't always shoot with the ND filter. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like sunglasses for your lens, and it makes a huge difference when you're shooting outdoors in bright light. Helps get that shallow depth of field and make sure that you're not blowing out all the highlights, making your footage all washed out and that sort of thing. So always carry one of these with me. And since I'm always carrying a bunch of glass, I keep these Zeiss lens wipes with me at all times. I have tons of them in my backpack, car, everywhere. They're, just, they're good for wiping sunglasses or my reading glasses or lenses and ND filters and that sort of thing. And these two things, which I don't always use but I always want to have with me, these are extension tubes for getting macro or really, really close-up shots of things. Obviously, I don't always have a need to get super tight close-ups of stuff, but anytime I want to get some detail on food or like eyelashes on Kyo or something like that, these come in handy without having to carry another lens. They're not that expensive. They're super durable. I just throw them in my backpack. Perfect. And the last thing on my everyday carry is this clip-on LED video light. I use this when I'm shooting in the dark a lot, unless I forget it, but this this thing is super valuable. I clip it to my beanies when I want it to be a headlamp. I use it to find stuff that I've lost in the dark, or I just clip it to the microphone and use it as a video light. It's really bright, it's rechargeable with USB, and the battery lasts super long. If you're, if you're shooting in the dark a lot, very valuable. That does it for everything that I carry in my backpack on a day-to-day -day basis. When I get done with work, we'll go check out the studio and see what I use on a day-to-day -day basis at home when I'm recording workouts in the garage or studio setup, that sort of thing. If you watch my videos a lot, you know that I shoot in my garage a lot. I use it for all kinds of stuff. I've got a studio setup space. I've got my bike for training and I just work in here all the time. Since I film in here a lot and I work from home a lot, a lot of my main heavy gear that I don't carry with me stays here and I use it almost every day. Hi. 
So when I'm home, the camera goes on top of here, the main tripod, because it's just more sturdy, more versatile, and I got all kinds of equipment on it. I have the monitor on it, and just holding it with one hand even, it's more sturdy. Other than the tripod setup and the monitor thing, I have this. This is my main light when I'm shooting in this kind of studio environment just to keep things nice and even. And that's about it. Those are all the things that I carry and those are all the things that I use on a regular basis. I've got a whole bunch of extra stuff in these cabinets and knickknacks here and there that I don't use every day. But, you know, maybe that'll be a different video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're interested in this kind of stuff and check out some of my other daily videos and that sort of thing. Hit like if you made it this far and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Bye for now.